Keep in the believer life. <laughs> Sir, we're live. Oh, uh, hi! Welcome to Jesus World. We're gonna tell you the truth about God. And to start today, I'm gonna interview and tell some kids about God. Oh, I see some right there. Let's go minister to them. Hi, kids. How are you today? Oh, hey, hey, has anybody ever told you God is small and he's really weak? He has bad plans for your life? <laughs> what are you talking about, Willis? Um, what do you mean? I said, don't you know, hey, God wants you poor and depressed. <laughs> Did you know that? Get behind us, Satan! to Jesus world everybody hey we're gonna have a great time today we are glad that you're here grab your Bible grab your friends today we're gonna be talking about how big God is how he thinks big and how he does big here we go welcome <laughs> let me flip this around welcome to Jesus world guys my name is Vincent these are my awesome kids this is and lion. lion and today we're going to be talking about how good God is and how big God. God is say God is a big God God is a big God say it again say it like you mean it say God is a big God God is a big God all right now first things first this is Jesus world and we're here to tell you what life is like on earth with Jesus somebody say Jesus Jesus. All right, now the first thing you got to know about learning about Jesus is you got to know what the Bible says. So let's start with today's memory verse. It's 3 John 2. Ready? 3 John 2. Beloved, I pray above all things that you may prosper and be in good health, even when your soul prospers. 3 John 2. Awesome, awesome. So, again, if you're just getting here, grab your kids get everybody from the age of two to 102 because today's lesson is going to set people free and it's going to give you the right way of thinking about who God is, what he thinks for you, and the plans that he has for you. So if you have kids, go get them. If you know kids, send this video to them and it's going to bless them. All right, 3 John 2. I want to do it again, but let's do it with some actions. Are you ready, Lion? Yep. Here we go. 3 John 2. Beloved, I pray above all things that you may prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. 3 John 2. You want to try it, buddy? Come here. Come closer. Help us with the actions. Ready? Now listen. That word prosper is what we want to hear from God today. Somebody say it. Prosper. prosper. Say it again. Prosper. prosper. God wants you to prosper. Ready? Here we go. Third John 2. Beloved, I pray above all things that you may prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. Now this is Jesus world. I want to do this. I want to go see. Let's see what the baby thinks about God and him prospering. Let me see the microphone. We already interviewed some kids and the devil tried to tell them that God is small and all that. They didn't believe it. Let's go interview a baby. Hi, baby. How are you today? Yeah? What do you think about God? Oh, thank you, baby. That's perfect. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. And then can I have a kiss? Thank you, baby. <laughs> All right. That was the interview with the baby. Now let's get back to the lesson really quick. 
Again, we're talking about God is good. God is big. God wants you to prosper. Let's read something from the Bible. Let's read Psalm chapter 1. Really, really clear. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners of creation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Amen. So, it said everything that they put their hands to prospers. That's the big word today. Let's do a song. Everybody stand up. And this song is called, My God is So Big. So we're going to teach you the words. If you know it, then sing along. And we're going to show you the actions as well. Ready? Now hold on. Let's pray because we haven't prayed yet. We want to pray for you. And we want to pray over this time together. Lift up your hands. Father, thank you. You are a good God. God, help us to hear from you today. Woo! Teach us, God. Change our minds. May these things go into our hearts. May we never believe lies that say anything else, that you are big, you're good, and you have good plans for us and big plans to prosper us. Pray for everybody watching today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Songs are very powerful, even, even children's songs. So whether you're two or 102, get this song in your heart because it's the truth. It goes like this. Ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his hand, he works too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. All right, kids, come on, everybody that's watching, get in on this. And even if you're an adult, not yet, we're going to do it one more time. Even if you're an adult, get this song in your heart, because when the enemy comes and attacks you, this song, these words, these truths will come up and give you strength. So I don't care how old you are, but let's do this song. Ready? One more time. Let's go. <clears throat> my God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his hand, he works too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Amen. Give yourselves a hand clap. All right, now I want to teach you a lesson. So everybody have a seat. And I'm going to teach you a lesson. Now, today we're talking about how good God is, but how big God is. And God is a God of prosperity. Who knows what this is? An apple. An apple. Who likes to eat apples? Me. I, li <laughs> I like to eat apples. Now, what is this? A knife. A knife. Now, who, what part of the apple do you eat? The skin and the Yeah. Fruit. If I was to give you this apple, what would you do with it? Eat the whole thing. But not the core. Not the core. What or would seeds. you do with the core? Or the seeds? What would you do with them? Plant them. You would plant them? Seeds, yeah. Oh, really? Well, most people take the apple, eat all the fruit, and then throw the core away. But here's what we want to talk about today is how big God is. And something called prosperity. Now, Jesus said, somebody say Jesus. Jesus. He said that you can learn about the kingdom of God by learning about the seed. So watch what we're going to talk about today. 
God is a prosperity God. God is a big God. God causes you to increase. When God gives you something, the Bible says that he gives seed to the sower. So usually we take the apple, we eat it, and then we throw this away. But everybody knows on the inside of the apple, there's this tiny little thing called a seed. seed. Woo, woo, found it. Now, usually and one apple has about five to ten seeds in it, okay? The seed is tiny, 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 tiny. Can't really see it. It doesn't look powerful, but what happens when you put the seed in the ground? It starts to grow. It starts to grow. We'll give you an example. Now, these are herbs that Abigail and Lyon planted a while ago. It's basically mine, but Lyon has another pot. Yeah, Lyon has his pot as well. Now we put the seeds in the ground. How small were the seeds? Like, we couldn't even see them. They, they were smaller than apple seeds. Wow, even smaller than apple yeah, seeds. Yeah, they were like just like a tiny like okay. dot. <laughs> so we put them in the ground. Then what have you been doing every day with this thing? Water. Hold on, water hold on. and giving sun and then it grow like this. Woo! So water and giving it sun. So we put it over there beside the window. And then look at what's happening. We're going to show you, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, some and sunflowers are planted in this too. My grandpa did it. So. Sunflowers? Yeah. Okay, so we got sunflowers some sunflowers are these. Yeah, so we got different herbs in here. Can and sunflowers. You want yours? Okay. So that was Abby guys. <laughs> this is Leon's. Whoa, look at all that show, stuff. No, show the other side of the Oh, she wants you to see the artwork. That's his thing. He did that all by himself. Yeah, that's good stuff. Abby, so, I need to. so you're gonna water it? Good. All right. So you take the seed, you put it in the ground, you water it, and then what's going to happen? Something's going to come up. Now, these are herbs. They come up small. Okay, let's have a seat. When we take an apple seed and we put it in the ground, what comes up? A, apple tree. A what? Apple, a apple tree. tree. Yes, this makes me think of our memory verse. Beloved, I pray, say, above all things that you may prosper. That's what happens when we put the seed in the ground. It prospers. It becomes a big tree. And then you keep on growing more trees. Yeah. This is an interesting thing about trees. So every apple has between five and ten seeds. When you plant one seed in the ground, takes about four or five years before it brings fruit, but then it's going to bring out about 300 more apples. So you can and then if them. each of those apples has about five seeds, or ten. that's like, or, or, or yeah, ten. that's like 1,500 or 2,000 more seeds. Wow. <gasps> now, if you took 2,000 seeds and planted them, you're going to have like 2,000 trees. Apple you're going to have 2,000 apple trees that reach 300 apples a, a, a year, which is going to be like a lot of apples. And it keeps on growing and growing. And it all started with what? One, One seed. seed. That is a picture of how God Dad, does things. And Apple wanted an apple tree, so that's why we get God's seed like yeah. that. So you guys come sit here. Let's pray for everybody. Today's message is very simple, guys. We want to pray for you. God is a good God. Say it. God is a good God. God is a big God. God is a big God. God has good plans for you. God has good plans for you. God has big plans for you. God has big plans for you. And he is able. And he is able. Say it with us. Say, he is able. He is able. You know, we're going to finish up. We're going to pray for you. If the devil has been lying to you and trying to do what we did at the starting and tell you that God is small, God isn't able, God doesn't love you, you need to fight him with the Word of God. The Word of God says that God desires for you to prosper and be in good health 
even as your soul prospers. Let's repeat it again. Say, God is a good God. God is a good God. God is a big God. God is a big God. God has good plans for me. God has good plans. And God is able. And God is able. Say, God is able. God is able. Say one more time. Say, God is able. Amen. So this is Jesus world where we learn what it's like to live life with Jesus and kids of all ages, whether you're two years old or 102, we're here just to encourage you and tell you and make sure that you know that God loves you and he has a good plan for your life. And don't ever let anybody tell you anything different. We taught you a verse. What was the verse? Third John two beloved. I pray above all things that you may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. We taught you a song. It said, God is a big God. So sing that song. We shared with you the principle of the seed. We showed you that is God, how God does things. He prospers. So as you give your life to him, as you yield to him, as you resist the devil and his lies, then you can expect for God to bless you and to have an amazing life. And it's not just about you. That blesses the world. That blesses the people around you. And you will impact the world for the kingdom of God. Amen. Let us pray for you wherever you're at today. Whatever you're going through. First thing, kids, if you have never given your life to Jesus, then that is step number one. He comes on the inside of you. And he will cause you to start to know God and think like God. But maybe you know God already, but you just needed this word of encouragement or you needed somebody to help break off the lies of the devil. That's why we're here. Let's pray. Ready? We're going to pray for people. Prayer is powerful. Pray. Hold my hand. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for your goodness. Just get quiet just now. And again, this is for every age. So if you're just getting on now, then go back, watch it when it's done. Watch the whole thing. Listen, pray, uh, pay attention. And then as we're praying right now, get quiet. Close your eyes, lift your hands, and receive from heaven. If you've never asked Jesus to be the Lord of your life, then it's very simple. Repeat this prayer. Say, God in heaven, God in heaven I, believe I believe Jesus died for me. You have a good plan for me. You have a good plan for me. Jesus. Jesus. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my Savior. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Take my life. Take my life. Do something with it. Do something with it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now let me pray for everybody watching. Father, we pray for everybody. We ask you, God, to bless them. We come against the lies of the enemy. Any lies that would have Amen. said that they are small or that you have small plans for them, we break those things in the name of Jesus. We pray for every single child of all ages. Lord, we speak blessing over them. If you're, whoever you are, but if you're two years old, five years old, 10 years old, parents, show these things to your kids. Have them sit down, four years old. Lift up your hands, let us pray for you. God, we pray for everybody. You put them here for a reason, and it's a good reason and a big reason. We just speak the blessing of Abraham. We plead the blood of Jesus over them. God, cause your will to come to pass in their lives. Give them a heart that is sensitive to you. Protect them, Lord. Place your angel around them. Have your way in their life, Lord. Cause them to become everything that you called them to be. In the name of Jesus, amen. Guys, thank you so much for, for joining us today. We love you. Oh. 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 I just stepped on his foot. I apologize, buddy. Okay, love you. love you. We'll see you later. See you.